Hey everybody, Brett from Stardust Gaming here, back with the first episode in what's going to be a sort of mini playthrough of Domina. Um, we've covered this game already on the channel uh, as, as sort of like a first look type deal, but uh, with the game releasing today, um, tomorrow for me, but today for you guys, I figured we would do a, a little playthrough because the game is finite in length. Um, you play for a certain amount of time and once you hit the end, um, either you succeed and you go on to like the final sort of battle or you fail and you start over but it's it is finite it's meant to be played over and over again and so I figured I would uh, do a couple of episodes for you guys for the first week of release and I think it'd be a lot of fun I'm really enjoying the game I've played it a little bit in my own time and I've had a blast with it Still no save function however so I'm gonna be sort of marathoning through this um, I'm hoping I can figure out a way to uh, basically finish this in one shot because uh, if I can't then that's the end of that but hopefully uh, I can get through it I think I have to make it through like 225 days or something so I guess we should probably get started uh, let's go ahead and jump in so as I said I've been playing this in my own time and I'm uh, pretty familiar with the game at this point so the first thing we want to do is head right to the Doctory, enable auto training so I don't have to sit there and click on stuff. And then we are going to want to immediately start researching humility, followed by mind control. Mind control will let us uh, control the gladiators ourselves. And this is really important because certain classes are really, really good in the hands of AI and others are really bad in the hands of AI, particularly um, I've found that the Rediarius, if we're just talking in terms of AI versus AI, is probably the best class in the game. Um, most of the other classes, well, I say most, there's only three classes. The other classes um, don't deal very well with their um, reach advantage. And if you don't have, um, say, polearm defense researched, and you do an AI versus an AI fight, you're probably going to lose, unless you have a Rediarius against um, against the other Rediarius. However, to basically unlock a Rediarius, you have to have that. So, um, yeah, definitely want mind control as early as possible. And then in terms of hiring people, there's really two guys that you absolutely need, and the other one doesn't really matter. You can kind of pick whatever you like. But the two that you absolutely need, the first is the architect. He's going to allow you to build upgrades and stuff. You really, really need this guy. So you're going to hire him right out of the gate. And then the second guy that you absolutely need is the agent. And he's actually very, very cheap. But he is probably the best of the employees that you can hire. And so here's why he's so good. Oh, it changed the order on me. So the agent can do a couple of things for you. His stealth meter basically indicates like how likely he is to be spotted. So you're going to kind of have to be careful if you're spamming him out on jobs. Eventually, he can get caught and you'll get in trouble for it. So basically, whenever it seems like he might get caught, just let him lay low for a little bit and then send him back out. But what he can do is he can steal upgrades for you, which is really, really nice. And it doesn't cost you anything. Or he can spy on the Legate and the Magistrate. That's these two guys down here. And when he comes back with secrets on them, you can sell them to the other guy. And so what this does is so long as you don't get caught, you can pretty much upgrade your influence with these two guys for free. Uh, it's really, really useful. And I'll start doing it right now so you can see. We're going to spy on the Legate. And again, as long as he doesn't get caught, we don't take a penalty for this. Uh, looks like we already have a fight. I don't know if we're ready for this yet. Um... Let's let's compare stats, but I don't I don't think that he's quite on par with this guy. He's a higher level. He's got more health. Um, his gear is slightly worse, but his weapon is better. I should have had I known we were going to be fighting so early, I would have upgraded his weapon to a gladius. We could potentially win this though. I'm going to send him in. We'll see what happens. This guy is not an ideal character anyways. If he dies, it's really not the end of the world. And I don't want to piss anybody off this early, so... We'll send him out there, we'll see what happens. His armor and his shield are better, and they have the same weapon, so... This guy's just got a little bit of an advantage as far as uh, 
level goes. Um, looks like we're hitting him a little bit harder. But he does have more health, so we're going to be in trouble here. He surrendered, so we're going to have a chance to save him by spamming out these clicks here. And it looks like I'm going to get it. Basically, you just click left and right mouse as quickly as you can. So he's not going to level up because he lost, but at least he didn't die. Um, oh, he was confiscated some of his gear, though. Interesting. So we need to immediately get him up to a Gladius, at least, and then we'll rebuy that shield for him. And I'm going to give him a little bit of wine, just so he's not so upset, and we'll get him healed. Okay, so next thing we need to do is with the architect, we need to start building these palaces because uh, they'll let us train weapon skill faster. And so I usually do the first row here and then work on the second and then the third. But I like to get like, I like to use the different rows as, oh, cool, he's discovered a secret. So we're going to send him to spy on the magistrate now and we're going to talk to the magistrate and sell him the secrets that the legate had. And so we'll get some gold for this. And he'll like us a little bit. And so you just alternate back and forth. And you get relations with them. You get money out of it. And it doesn't cost you a thing. You just have to be a little bit patient. Works really, really well, actually. Um, we'll keep building those. Should also focus on buying. Basically, you want to just buy everything that's here all the time. So buy all the food. It's one gold for each. For basically like 35 to 40 of each. So you just spam it out. Buy everything that's there. Wait for it to replenish. Um, how are you doing? Let's research mind control. Do we get any cards? Let's see. Weapon training speed. I don't know if I want to give that to anybody yet. Because neither of these guys is like an ideal gladiator. Basically, what I like to do is you've got essentially three tiers. Wow, he's quick. Let's uh, sell that secret. And I think he's going to have to lay low for a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Recognize if seen again, so we're going to... Just let him relax for a little. But you've got three tiers. So one, two, three. Um, the first tier are like my active fighters. The guys that are, you know, getting out there on a regular basis. They've got good gear. The middle tier are guys that I'm sort of working on. And then the, the bottom tier, the ones closest to the bottom of the screen, are the ones that uh, are sort of like just basic. Like they don't have any gear yet. I don't know if I'm going to turn them into gladiators, but they might have potential, basically. So you're not healed yet. Um, you're actually a pretty solid character. You're a higher level, even, so let's see how you stack up. He's, let's see, 8, 8, and 3. So 19 in total. Uh, you are 10 in total. He's got a pretty good advantage on you, but you hit harder. And I think your armor is better? It is. So... I say we go for it. Again, I don't want to upset either the Legate or the... Uh, or the Magistrate yet, so... Even if we're sending these guys to their deaths, I'm just going to get them out there. And after this fight, we should have mind control, so I can actually jump in and control them. Oh good, he won. I can actually control them myself, and usually, um, as long as the battle's not too one-sided, you can kind of pull it out. And so he's going to get two levels in everything, essentially, just for winning. And I might turn you into my primary fighter here, so let's get you some better armor. Um, I don't want to spend like 60 on a pauldron. You know what? Let's downgrade that. I'll give you a better helmet instead. And... We'll bump these up a little bit. I might actually turn... You're going to be my, my primary guy. And we need to make sure that we heal them. I don't have the... Why are you so upset? Interesting. Why are they so upset? Let's... Uh, we'll give him some wine. I don't know if five is even going to be enough to really turn that around. One thing that you can do, and I'm going to do it here because my morale is pretty bad at the moment, is we're going to hire the bard to hopefully uh, turn things around for our morale. And he's not a bad character to have. Um, there's, there's some decent characters, but I find that um, just having him increasing everybody's morale all the time is pretty useful. 
So what I like to look for in um, my recruits is, first of all, their max HP is going to be like the most important thing. Um, so 161 is not bad, but like 170, 180, those are the guys that are going to be like, those, they're going to be the ones that you turn into stars, basically. And then down the line, obviously, you want to focus on what class they're going to be best suited to, and that's what these numbers are going to tell you. So aggro is how aggressive they are. Turtle is how defensive they are. Evasive is how, you know, dodgy they are. And then stamina is basically how much they can go on the attack. So somebody who's really turtly is going to make a great Thrakes. Somebody who's really evasive is going to make a pretty good Rediarius. And somebody who's got really high aggro is going to be a decent um, Mermillo. Because they dual wield. You need them to be pretty aggressive and also evasive. But definitely not turtly because they... They don't have a shield, they can't really block that well. So with a Mermillo, for example, you want aggro and evasive. Any any number in turtling is going to be bad. Um, so this guy, for example, would probably be a decent Mermillo. Um, we're probably just not going to turn him into anything at this point because he's not really suited to a Thrakes and that's our only option. Uh, this guy has got really, really low max HP. So what I usually look at here is how much would he sell for? In this case, four, not really worth much. So I'd probably just grant him his freedom. He'll thank us, and that should boost everybody's morale by a decent chunk. Yeah, so everybody's happy now. Uh, the Bard's also helping with that, but everybody likes me a little bit because I'm freeing uh, slaves. And so this guy. I think we'll get him equipped. He's not very good. Um, but... Might just be cannon fodder, you know? So we'll turn them into a Thrakes. Usually what I'll do is I'll get them like one, one, basically just like super basic gear so they have something. If you throw them into a fight and they don't have a sword at least, like some type of weapon, they'll basically just run away and cower in the corner. If you give them even the most basic gear, they will fight. So if you have to throw in like four or five guys in a single fight, at least give them some sort of weapon so that they actually participate. Otherwise, they'll just run and hide, you'll lose crowd favor, and they'll just die. So, let's see, four, six, and eight. Um, let's see, Virginius, or... Interesting that he overtook him so quickly. Unless he started at a higher level, but I didn't think he did. Um, let's see how you stack up in terms of damage. Actually, I can control him, so it may not matter. 20, 45. You're going to hit way harder than he is, so we're going to roll with you. And I'm actually going to control this one. So typically, I like to sort of, uh, you know, kind of probe in and out, let them swing a couple times, kind of back off. Oh, he got me there. But yeah, so once you're controlling yourself, you can win a lot of these battles just by, you know, fighting intelligently. And we need to start um, allocating these cards. So let's see, our two new guys. 147, not great. Uh, we'll, we'll keep him around. You know, there's no point in having an empty Lotus here, but neither of these guys is going to be particularly great. So I'll probably just move them down here. Um, so let's see, how are you doing? Yeah, go do some more spying for me. Meanwhile, you can go ahead and start gathering stones. This is going to boost their strength training. And uh, you need to start researching. Hmm. Yeah, do that. And let's look at these cards. So... Weapon training speed, roll speed, boost, and defensive priority. <sighs> I, I don't like these events. The magistrate happens upon you purchasing new sandals in the market. The cobbler is a distant cousin with whom you have some report, despite the fact that he that his halitosis is defensive and unyielding. It's basically just bad breath. Like chronic bad breath. His greed is even oh yeah, his worse than his bad breath. The Magistrate intimates that he might be interested in a good deal on new sandals as well. Um, yeah, I mean, we can basically boost our relations with the Magistrate for three for three gold, what the hell. 
Um, oh, and we got some dirt on him. Apparently, he's got his sixth toe. Okay. So you like that. Um, let's give you weapon training speed, and we'll give you defensive priority. So these cards just basically give them additional, like, bonuses to their stats. Um, do I want to improve your gear? I think I do. Let's boost you up to standard mail. And maybe give you one of those. Actually, let's downgrade that one. It looks cooler with the, the all black there. And let's see here. We'll upgrade you to that skirt. Maybe give you a slightly better shield. Um, what kind of helmets do we got? I guess you can roll with that for now. I don't particularly like that helmet, but it works. And you're nearly done with the stones. Oh, wrong guy. Oh, there he is. Gathering stones. Agent, let's have you spy on the magistrate now, and we'll sell the legate's secrets to the magistrate. He's going to like us a little bit more. We'll gain a little bit of money for it. And uh, the more they like you, the more advantageous the fights are going to be for you. So if they really hate you, they're going to give you jobs or uh, fights that suck, that aren't to your advantage. If they like you, you're going to get um, fights that are, you know, to your advantage, that are beneficial to you. They'll pay better. They'll be easier to win. Things like that. I've noticed that the more they like you, the more one-on-ones you get as well. And the more that they don't like you, the more you get the big battles with lions and stuff, which is actually kind of a shame because some of those... Especially the ones with the loose lines are actually very easy to win, so long as you avoid the lions. Whereas, uh, the one-on-ones do get dull after a while. They can be easy to win, but... So let's see... I might have forgotten to heal you. Let's, uh, we'll let Salius here. I don't think that's how that's pronounced, but I'm gonna go with it. Salius. Um... This guy hits... Well, he doesn't hit that hard because his weapon is crap, but he's got a high attack skill. So he'll land a bunch of hits, but we got better armor and a better weapon. I think we'll be okay. Especially with me controlling it, all I have to do is stay out of range of his little dagger. But yeah, they're really giving me some easy fights here. Oh, yeah, he hits quick. There we go. Not so quick without an arm, though. So hopefully these guys are going to be a little bit better. Because I'd like to start... No, wow. These guys are terrible. 156. That's not bad. He might be redeemable. 163 we can work with. Let's actually turn Antonius here into a Thrakes. We'll give him like the most basic gear. Just so he's training with something. And we're going to put him up here. Because he's got a class now. Agents returned. We're going to sell that to the Legate. And let's have you gather more stones, I guess. Meanwhile, we're going to send you back out to spy on the Legate. Doctori, I want you to work on probably... Mm, let's go with Blade Control first. It's basically 25% attack damage or 25% shield defense. Um, so you want these early, but we'll go with attack first. Because usually if you can kill people faster than they kill you... Um, you'll win. And we need to heal these guys, obviously, so they aren't, like, bleeding out when they fight. I think you earned yourself an upgrade there as well. Something like that looks good to me. Looks a bit like a... like a Roman Centurion with all that gear on. Uh, okay, do we get any other cards? Maybe it was rolled speed, roll speed boost. I'll probably give that to one of the more, you know, like nimble classes. So we're actually, I think it's 365 days now. I think it was shorter before. You guys are almost done. Um, okay, let's sell that to the magistrate. And then we will... You can always give them wine too, but the thing about wine is that it decreases in effectiveness. So the first time you give them wine... For example, you give them one, then you have to give them two, and then four, and then eight, and so eventually you'll have to give them so much wine that it just becomes impossible to keep up with. And I keep forgetting to keep up with my food and water as well. You can also attend pit fights in here. Um, they increase in the same manner, so 
the first time you pay one, then two, and then it just keeps going and going and going. Um, and the difficulty keeps increasing on these as well. You can, however, turn these fights down for no penalty. So it might be worth it if you want to get a guy into a couple fights, get him blooded, um, you know, spend the gold, see if it's worth doing. If not, you just decline it or maybe send somebody else in to fight it. I'm going to pass for now, though, because these guys are still kind of getting patched up. Um, next battle's in a day, so nothing really for us to do here. I might turn this one down. The, none of these guys are particularly good. Well, actually, some of them are half decent. Yeah, that guy's actually really good. Um, yeah, I don't like this one. The thing about these big fights is they're not that difficult to win. But if you put six guys in there, you're going to lose at least like three of them. The AI is just not that good at handling these, these types of situations. And so like the lesser fighters that you put in there are going to die. And so the only time I like accepting these, if you have a couple of guys that are way, way better than anything that they've got on the field here. So like two or three really elite gladiators that just completely outclass these guys, just roll with them and wipe everybody out. You'll get way more experience and better rewards for it. And you're actually a lot less likely to lose somebody because you're, you've got these super elite guys tearing through poor gladiators rather than bad gladiators against bad gladiators and you know it being a toss-up so we're going to reject that one and he's not going to like that but we'll throw him a little bit of wine and he'll forget all about it so i'd like to maybe start upgrading these guys ah okay so let's let's go ahead and sell that secret and then um we need to gather some stones for our pal here but yeah if you can keep the agent doing this thing here oh He's a known spy. Well, all you have to do, fire him, go to the marketplace, uh, hire employees, hire another. So 13 gold, and look at that. Nobody even knows who he is. Um, who did we spy on last? I think we spied on the magistrate last, so we'll send him after the legate. And let's see. How are you doing? 158. You might turn him into a gladiator as well. 152, yeah, you're actually not that good. Um, it almost pains me to upgrade him further just because I'm concerned that he won't end up being a good, like a good long-term character. His health is just too low. Doctori, you need to be researching shield control. We'll do nimble stance too. I keep forgetting about that one. I wish it would prompt you to... Um, keep researching those like it tells you when it finishes but with so many things going on in this game it's really easy to miss it um let's give this one to virginius i think he's got better max health and he's sort he's starting to catch up in level so this guy's really agile but he's pretty terrible otherwise actually a wooden gladius damn if i had, if one of my other guys had a real gladius i would throw them in there because I could probably win this. You know what? We might be able to do it anyways. Um, no. What am I doing here? Yeah, pick Gladiator. So let's see. Bulbous. Um, yeah, I think you could do it, man. Actually, you've got bad health, though. I think I'm going to give this one to Antonius. And then I am going to fight that one myself. 21 damage, 36 damage. We got him beat. So you got way worse gear, but I think you're going to be able to handle it. Yeah, I think you'll be alright. So if this guy wins, we'll give him uh, some better gear and let him join a couple more fights. Oh man, he just completely wrecked my shit right there. But we got him. So... Uh, yeah, Antonius lives to fight another day, and he's going to get promoted. So let's see, what are you guys about? 156. Um, we'll keep you around. And let's see, 126? No, you are gone, pal. All right, so we discovered another secret. However, we are out of time, so I'm going to break off this episode here. And I will continue on playing in the second episode. I'll probably do these. I don't know if I'm going to do them every day or every other day. But 
we just need to get through you know the 365 days i really hope i can do this all tonight because um obviously i can't save so it would really suck to get almost to the end and then have it just uh end because i you know <laughs> i was up too late but um yeah so thank you guys so much for watching i had a great time playing some domino with you and i look forward to seeing you back here for the next episode